Hello everybody, Evidence here. I just have to comment on G-Man's latest video titled The Atheist Delusion, Some Advice on How to Destroy It. That might be a counter video to Skylar Fiction's upload, A One-Way Conversation with the G-Man. I'll leave a link to both videos in the description. As usual, G-Man gets almost everything wrong. Apart from the vile and disgusting things he says about atheists in this community, his narcissistic tendencies shine through all too well. He is so illogical and irrational it's almost embarrassing listening to him. He says atheists are delusional, as if believing in things without evidence would be stupid. This reference to Richard Dawkins' book just demonstrates the stupidity of G-Man. I have some questions for you, G-Man. Even though you won't answer, you never have because you can't. If we are the delusional ones, what kind of scientific facts do we atheists deny? Where is the doctrine we so dogmatically hold to be true to be found? Why do science upgrade and improve when new discoveries are made and new evidence are found? What is the atheist's equivalent to the false claim of a flat earth, a young earth, Noah's flood and the Tower of Babel? It's unbelievable, Jimin. Unbelievable. On the other hand, atheists pray to themselves, a topic he mainly brought up in the video Skylar Fiction posted. In G-Man's warped mind, subjectivity equals opinion, and opinions are held individually, so to him, atheists only listen to themselves, and anything goes. But that is not the case at all. Anyone who quickly calculates the options standing in front of a burning building and hearing screams inside uses subjective thinking. Some thoughts and feelings we cannot control, like if our child is the one screaming. Due to evolution, we are much more likely to risk our own lives to save a family member or a close relative. Read about kin selection if you don't believe me. I've never heard of anyone asking God for guidance in that situation, because there is no time and there is no answer to be found. I've never heard of anyone starting to read the Bible for guidance in this situation either, because again, there is no time and there is no answer to be found. My morals and my convictions are derived from social interactions with my parents, my friends, my teachers, my classmates, my co-workers, my wife and many other people. It's a process that never ends and never can be absolute. Some things you have to learn the hard way and some things you haven't made up your mind about. This is why we discuss, for example, capital punishment. Is it really moral to execute your own citizens? Uh, does two wrongs make a right? On the same note, that is why the dogmatic thinking that killing is always wrong no matter what, without except exceptions, cannot be true. Some people want to die due to the age of 95 and constant pain because of bone cancer. People are killed every day in wars, and you have the right to defend yourself if attacked. It's the same thing with other claimed religious moral absolutes, like lying and stealing. It gets even worse if you bind these arbitrary meanings to everlasting damnation. And just to be clear, G-Man, don't for one second think that you turning to God means that your moral values are objective. You cannot be that naive. Just within Christianity there are thousands of denominations and claimed to be exclusive and the only path to salvation. You must understand that your interpretation of scripture is subjective. Your preset values of morality are reinforced through your understanding of what the Holy Book says. Why, we, why would we accept creationists' interpretation of the Bible, when we know that many of your, of your claims are scientifically false? Why not the Mormons' interpretation, or the Jews? 
Why even use your source, the Bible? Anyway, G-Man isn't satisfied with the two false claims about atheism. He has a third. Atheists hate God. How G-Man can reconcile all these contradictory claims about atheism is beyond me. We hate God, we don't exist, we do believe in God, we do not believe in God, we do exist, we are part of a religion and we pray to ourselves. This is logic of a madman. Atheism is a response to a positive claim. Without religions, there would be no atheists. If you tell me you believe in a god, and I do not believe in that god, I'm an atheist, regardless of your evidences for that belief. Atheism has nothing to do with me or anyone else disproving your god claim. That is why I'm an atheist to god claims I haven't even heard about. That is why I'm agnostic to vague god claims like god is love. And that is why you, G-Man, yes you, are an atheist toward the claim that Allah is God. If you don't understand this concept, contact me via Skype and I will elaborate further. G-Man also provides his subscribers with evidences that God exists. He mentioned the cosmological argument, even though that argument has been refuted I don't know how many times. Just listen to Sean Carroll versus William Lane Craig if you are on the fence whether that is a good argument or not. For crying out loud, even if we accept all the premises, the conclusions only points to God, not your God. He also mentioned intelligent design, obviously indoctrinated by true empiricism and Nephilim free. Listen to me, G-Man, and listen good. You not understanding how evolution created complex structures does in no way indicate the solution is a God. Ignorance can never be a pathway to truth. Remember that. As a final insult to anyone with half a brain, he asks uh, Christians who are cornered regarding evidence for their God to use the fallacy, your reasoning is invalid if you do not believe in God first. This kind of thinking, along with the pre-sub argument, is admission of defeat. Nothing else. It's a smoke screen without smoke. Imagine G-Man talking to a person who believes Allah to be the only true God, and that person says that G-Man has to believe in Allah first in order to make sense of his reasoning. That's kindergarten logic. Child's play. Another thing. When you scream the question, what does that have to do with the great debate? The answer to that is, you cannot claim moral high ground if we prove that you lie. It's not about disproving God or validating atheism. If you claim that your interpretation of the Bible gives you objective morals and we catch you lying, you're done. These narcissistic tendencies I talked about earlier has to stop, G-Man. It's not all about you as a person. It's what you say. Get it? When you talk about atheist moving the goalpost, you are projecting. That is, that is exactly what you do almost all the time. I don't think I've ever heard you answering a question straight up. You answering a question by asking something else is not a response. That's evasive and trying to move the goalpost. It's so sad to read some of the comments under your video, G-Man. These people clearly have no idea the bullshit you spew. The things you say, G-Man, about the atheists here online speaks volume about your character. You know what I mean? These are demons masquerading as angels of light. They're looking like good people. They're sounding like good people. But in reality, these people are going to bathe the world in blood because of their philosophy. Thanks for listening. And take care. These are demons masquerading as angels of light. They're looking like good people. They're sounding like good people. But in reality, these people are going to bathe the world in blood.